Hey grade nines, hope that you well. Here's a quick video on how to do simultaneous equations. Now the thing with simultaneous equations is we'll tell you to solve simultaneously and you will know it's a simultaneous equation also because there's two unknown variables in an equation and the exact same two unknown variables in an equation. And what we're doing is I'm going to show you the method. There's two methods, one called elimination and one called substitution. This video is going to show you substitution mainly because I think in grade nine we teach you elimination but then as the years go by no one really uses elimination that much it's always almost always everyone uses substitution so let's quickly go through this right what you need to do is you need to make one of your variables the subject of the formula doesn't matter which one you get to choose okay I have this one two three four options okay and remember we mathematicians so we always pick the easiest way out so i'm going to pick the easiest way out to be my x so i'm going to make x the subject of the formula and when i say that it means i'm making x on one side and everything else on the other side it also means that the coefficient of x is going to be one and it's going to also be to the power of one like it is over here right 15 minus y i've made something the subject of the formula this year i'm going to name as equation one Okay. And then that means if this is equation 1, this one here is equation 2. What we're now going to do is we're going to substitute equation 1 into equation 2. Which means that everywhere in equation 2 where I see an x, I'm going to replace it with whatever x is over here. And in this case, my x is 15 minus y. So I'm going to use color so that you can see exactly what I mean. Let me just rewrite this equation for you. So x minus y equals 3, which means I see x. So I'm going to replace it with 15 minus y. I've replaced it, okay? Then there's the negative y over there. Then it's got an equal to sign and then it's got a 3. That's what it is. So I've substituted one into the other. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve a bracket i hope it's not confusing bracket and bracket okay this here gives me 15 minus y minus y equals 3 minus y minus y gives me minus 2y equals 3 take this over negative 15 so negative 2y equals 3 minus 15 is negative 12 divide by the coefficient divide by the coefficient y is equal to positive 6. Right. But I'm not yet done because remember I had two variables to solve for. So I'm going to go back. Remember that equation over there? I'm going to say x equals 15 minus y. 15 minus. And now we've got a new answer for y. And our y's answer is, let's just put in a color pen for you. This part here, I'm going to sub it into here. So 15 minus 6 gives me 9. And now I figured out both my x and my y. I'm going to make a, another video for you. You're going to see more examples where there's coefficients. Okay, so it's just a couple of examples for you to walk through.